Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 20, Episode 5. We are at Union Berlin, and we are, we're in a funk. So uh, we had the two losses last episode, not, not unsurprising. Uh, then we lost 5-3 to Eintracht Braunschweig, and this was a tough one. We should have won. We had a hat trick from Dimitris Sitas, but we gave up five goals, including a eight-minute brace to Adrian Martin in the final 10 minutes of the game. Uh, we did have a man sent off, and then Tom Hill was injured. Uh, we did end up playing with nine men, so that was not helpful, and that probably contributed to this situation developing down the stretch. Uh, Shimnitzer, 2-1 win. Justin Plume uh, with Tom... Uh, with Tom Hill being injured, Plume got to play the whole game. He got a first-half brace, so uh, that got us a win. We are currently sitting out of the playoffs and promotion range, but not by only by goal differential. We are still real close to this. I don't know if we're going to hold on. I mean, we were supposed to be mid-table, so I think we were overachieving at the start, and then today we're really stepping up. We're playing in Bauckham and uh, Schalke, and we could easily go 0-2 today. Would not surprise me in the least. Uh, let's see. We're on the road. I am going to go with... Uh, I did change tactics. Uh, we still have this as our away tactic, but I've brought back the... Uh, the uh, big away tactic to, uh, for playing bigger clubs. And I think we're going to end up having that as quite a bit of our... Yeah, we don't want to play the offsides trap because I did just add this in. It's still a 4-4-2. We're not going to have a problem playing it. So I just wanted to check it. I guess I have to go back that way. Pick our team... We did that. Submit the team. We did that. <sighs> Processing. Um, I've been watching the space launch. I'm recording this on Saturday, May 30th. So um, you have to remember, I was born in the late 60s. I was a you know very young, young child uh, when the Apollo missions took off in the first. You know, but I was alive for the first landing on the moon. And, uh, you know, the Apollo 13 disaster and the end of the Apollo missions and the, the beginning of the space shuttle program. And, uh, of course, the Challenger the t and the Discovery incidents with the shuttle. Uh, so today was kind of a big deal. And, you know, to me, at least, you know, being a, a child of the 80s and, uh, you know, growing up in the in the Cold War era and, and, and the space race and everything else. Uh, so kind of emotional for me. Uh, might, you might think that's weird, but uh, yeah, kind of a kind of a big deal today. So that was kind of so I've been I was watching the launch and the and the liftoff and uh, getting them into into low Earth orbit. So that was pretty cool. Um, and I'll be following along with what's with what's going on up there until they get back home. So pretty excited about all that all right Poljak nice ball out Rubio not not the best finish uh, let's get creative all right Kaminsky picks up an injury there's one of their two strikers Gallus picks up a yellow Another yellow for Stein, his fourth of the season. So we're piling up yellow cards again. All right, good save by Drabond. And we are holding on here 21 minutes into the match. So this is our first match playing this tactic again. I, you know, I did bring it back. We had a lot of success oh, over the top. That's beautiful. And he puts it in. Oh, Demir Puljak, what a goal. I did not think he was going to be able to cut the angle, and he did a stellar job. That vaults us up into second position. Now, we probably have the game, extra game. I don't, 
I was expecting him to lay it off, but nobody gave him a target. And I think the keeper was expecting him to pass that too. And he just played it right back inside. We're going to praise. They're fired up. Come on, boys. Push him around. Oh, how did he not get down on that ball? Oh, that was a cheap goal. You can't give those away. Oh, that was horrible. Not good. That was not good. All right. Didn't like that. Bitterich. All right. There's some sure hands. Where were those just a minute ago? Show some passion. All right. Nothing, nothing really going on there. Excellent effort. We got a lot of guys stacking yellows. We do have, we're not stuck in. Regroup. So, nothing really in there that would indicate that we should have yellow card issues. Let's get creative here in the early going. Kolkar. We're playing right to left. Pull Jack down into the attack third. Oh, he sailed it. Plume. All right, that curves in. Good save. Ah. All right. Um, let's see about some of these yellow cards. Rubio struggling. And Casper, uh, my my number two and number three left back are all whinging about playing time. So, yeah. And then my number four center back. So, oh, nice save. Um, so we've got a lot of our back line that are you know our reserves that are wanting to start and unfortunately they're no longer starter quality after some of the moves that i made all right we're actually playing well i'm going to give them praise plume and Cetos are overwhelmed all right let's um i'm gonna bring uh i'm gonna bring tom hill on let's see if we can get some legs up top Probably the wrong move. I should have probably gotten a yellow card off. Uh, let's uh, let's encourage them. They're not going to like that. Well, didn't go over horribly. I'll be happy with a draw here, to be fair. Oh, can we steal it? Oh, <laughs> I thought we were going to be able to FM one there. Oh, no. Uh, maybe. No, that was horrible. That was just a giveaway. Ugh. Out wide. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Put a shot. Put a shot. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty happy with that. That jumps us up. Well, we have we have the extra game. Nuremberg, they're they're going to be able to catch us. Uh, but we did. That's an excellent game. I will be very happy with that. Uh, we move back into promotion. Uh, Egeter. Now, two of these guys want to be loaned out but all right now he has started 
right? Yeah, he's got 14 starts. What the hell does he want? His substitution. Hold on. Egeter. He was playing a 6-3. His form was bad. And I don't know, I don't remember if he was tired. Let's see if Cetas can be a good captain and do something about that. All right, good. You know, that's one thing I'll say. There's some stuff that goes on in international football that would not happen in American sports because those players would be fired, kicked out of the league, and never hired again by anybody else. Um, you just, you know, and we're seeing that. I mean, you know, we're seeing, you know, we're not going to take a pay cut because that's just going to help the owner who's rich. But they don't care that the owner is running a business that's losing money. You know, whereas, you know, that's where salary caps actually help out. Because who's who wants to, I mean, do you want to run a business, any type of business where you know going in you're going to lose money and have to just throw millions of dollars at it? No, nobody would do that. And it's all because of player salaries. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> get off your soapbox. All right, we'll be right back for the next match. <laughs> So we play Schalke today. Please don't get up there. <laughs> All right, we are at home. We are underdogs. I am going to stick with our big away tactic because I, I still picture Schalke as a bigger club. Abzalov is going to be in. Uh, Agartier, he got mad at me for substituting him last time, right? Um, we do have Muller. Is he the, he's, he's pitching a fit thinking he should be starting more games. Granted, I did sign him as a first choice goalkeeper, but then I got an, a better first choice goalkeeper. So I'll be looking to trade, tra you know, sell him in the transfer window. Um, can Bukowski play anywhere else? No. Can Agater play anywhere else? He can play he can play center, albeit not great. Hmm. Maybe I need to look when I sub off if he, moving him into the center. I don't know. Alright, we're gonna put Hill in up here. We understand lacking match sharpness. Not a whole lot I can do there. Alright. Gallus couldn't find it. Bogler into the box. Pinky makes the grab easy in a crowd. Lumped out. Look at the first touch on that. Wow. I thought we had a little poke away there. Uh, we had another one. All right, they're just dropping back and forth. Oh, that was unlucky. Oh, we got a foot on it inside the box, and it just tipped the wrong direction right in front of their attacker. And he made us pay. All right, let's get creative. Come on, boys. Demand more. All right. Competitive match. Competitive match. Um, if we if we bump it up, see what that does. Get creative right out of the gate. All 
All right. Damn. Come on, fellas. Oof. Get the ball. All right. Beats. Okay. Why is his in gray? Any idea? I don't know that I've ever seen one in gray before. Usually that's because they're subbed out, right? But he didn't, he hasn't been subbed on or off. I think I want to take Vogler off and we'll put, um, yeah, let's put Dominic Schmidt in there. Demand more. Oh, hello. Absalov. What the hell? I've got a I've got a mid right. Let's put Coon in there. I know it's the wrong side. I get it. But you should be able to do okay. I mean it shouldn't be the end of the world. It's the same position, just on the other side of the pitch. Damn. We just, uh, we're not showing much of anything here. Disappointing. Um, boy, boy. I mean, you know, the, I, I don't think they outplayed us horribly, right? All right, well, let's uh, let's dig in a little bit. Let's see, 1222. Looks like a winter window here. Mains. When's the, uh, when's the transfer window? Transfer windows. January 1st to February 2nd. So let's come back for Gruther Firth. We'll get through the winter window. And then we'll see what transfers we have. And it's only four games, so that gets us a couple of months down the road. Appreciate you guys coming by. Sorry we couldn't get anything accomplished today. We'll try harder next time. See you next time. Hit the like button and subscribe if you don't mind. Thanks so much. Bye.